say we isolate them and set this up as just because these are the better drives, I guess, the primary media server. Mm -hmm. Does it still work with the RAID terminology? I know. I mean, are we looking at? Kind of, yeah. So okay. Unraid gives you both options. Out of the box, I really like ZFS for a lot of reasons. And ZFS is like Sun's old billion dollar file system. It's really good, though. It's still maintained, FreeBSD. ZFS and Linux, mm, there's a, you can get really technical with it. Mm. But, um, so two is going to go into three. So with ZFS, it's kind of a melding of like the RAID technology and like the file storage technology. So in addition to providing drive level redundancy, ZFS also doesn't trust the drives. It okay. thinks that they're lying, horrible people that cannot possibly be trusted to store anything. <laughs> okay. So ZFS is constantly challenging the drives against one another to be entirely consistent. And that's not really true with most hardware RAID 5 controllers. Like, I mean, we've got thousands of dollars of hardware RAID controllers over there. They're not bad. It's just that because there's not a separation of the file system, or because there is a separation of the file system and like how it stores stuff, if you corrupt the data a little bit with RAID 5, it's hard to know which drive is correct. Okay. You need at least RAID 6. Then you almost have like a quorum where it's like, okay, enough of these people are getting together that we can tell that that person is lying. But because ZFS stores checksum information at the file system level, it knows that something has gone wrong and can communicate with the drives directly to say, hey, something is inconsistent here. Do we have enough information to make it consistent with what I remember about the structure of the file? Okay, cool. And there's not really a lot of extra, there is more overhead for that, but there's not really a lot of extra overhead. And that you, was the, the plan, right, to go with ZFS for this? Yeah. Is that what you were planning? Okay. Yeah, but Unraid doesn't do ZFS out of the box. We get a plug-in for that. Okay, So. got it. And uh, FreeBS, FreeNAS would probably be my first choice, except it doesn't really do hardware pass-through. Okay. So what we use at level one is basically just raw Linux, but it doesn't have a friendly web GUI. Unraid's GUI is very, very friendly. FreeNAS's GUI is much more friendly than it used to be, but it still needs some, some work here and there. Mm. So with ZFS, this is the downside of ZFS. You have to add drives more than one at a time. Mm. So if you were going to expand your storage pool, I would say, buy four more drives. Okay. And then right. it will be, they'll be set up the same, one drive of redundancy, and then those two VDEVs will actually increase performance. Okay. Um, if you wanted to add a fifth drive, you could... So if I just wanted to add an extra redundant drive going up to two, but with a total of five disks... ZFS can't do it yet. Okay. They're working on it, but it won't do it yet. Okay. But Unraid will. Like, the features that are built into Unraid will handle that situation really well. And that's why a lot of the people that use Unraid really like Unraid, because you can, they don't even have to be the same disk. Like, it'll figure out, like if you get a 20 terabyte disk, mm -hmm. it'll use it, and you'll be able to use all 20 terabytes of the space, but it will spread the redundancy out across more disks. Okay. So you won't gain 20 terabytes of space to the pool, but it'll use all 20 terabytes on the disk for, for more redundancy. Okay. But it becomes difficult to manage and uh, and there's other downsides, I guess. Yeah. I did actually, for putting this video together, uh, BTRFS, ButterFS, um, historically there have been problems with RAID 5 on BTRFS. BTRFS marries some of the file system corruption functionality with the uh, performance stuff, and it has some of the same features as ZFS without maybe as much overhead, okay. and has some of the features that ZFS doesn't have, like just adding single drive. and. Uh, the RAID 5 performance was actually much better than the last time I tested it. Mm. it. It failed most of my integrity tests about two and a half years ago, the last time I tested it. But it actually did really well the last time I tested it. So you could get away with running unraid volumes natively. Okay. Cool. Um, Although when you've got that many spindles, I'd recommend ZFS. But for like four or eight drives, unraid's fine, mostly. The other option is to create holes, but that's kind of annoying, so. Let's just tack that in with like a screw and make sure that all of the other peripherals will clear it. Yes, I'm not sure that they will, but we also might need to remount the cooler depending on how cramped those hoses get. That's actually not too bad. I think that'll be like that. Yeah. Yeah, more like that, I guess. So then we'll, we'll probably want to do intake there to get some air to the. Will we clear the video card? Is it the same problem? Mm hmm. The structural piece? Mm hmm. 
So basically, they, oh my. This one is screwed in though, so we can It'll remove it. Okay. Well, how about, should I just punt? I have a stepper bit. No, I can just it, drill holes. No, because it, uh, oh, you mean like, but Down then it's here. still kind of. No. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Silverstone, I'm available for consulting if you uh, need any guidance or assistance on the this home This isn't server. even like, this is like literally send the case and ask, hey, <laughs> are there holes for screws? And you're like, huh, <laughs> I figured you would have done this internally, but I guess I can also <laughs> attempt to use the screw holes. <laughs> In case you're wondering, how much of a market is there for stuff like this that's like, I mean, so the enterprise, they're going to know, they're going to buy stuff. But yeah. you think about like our use cases, you know, quote unquote home use, but not really. But you wonder, it's like, how big of a market for this is there really? Check out like Reddit slash R slash data hoarding and slash home lab. Like those guys are nuts in a good way. I don't think you really meant that last part. Probably not. <laughs> that didn't seem genuine. They have an addiction and they need help. <laughs> uh, so what, you, you're, is it two screws clear? Or three. Oh, is that three? No, nope, that's two. Yeah, it's just two. Dang. I think we could probably... Uh, but you removed the bar, right? Yeah. That bar is not riveted. It's the only bar that isn't. Okay. Well, it does provide some support, but it's not like this box is going to be moving, so... Uh, 